Okay, we're aligned. Okay, so we are back here once again, another week. Oh, let me send you the, the link to the soundtrack. We are here once again, back to a past and future secret. Last time around, we the party went from the, the Dark Childs, or you can say that witches uh, hideout. In, back into town and they find the town of Quiris straight uh, kind of deserted except by some strange looking folk that seems to the, to the party as uh, like a shady type of people and after some social encounters with them it's clear that Something else was going on. So uh, Jasper decided to take the form of a beast to to have a look around and see what 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 the hell was going on in that town. And he found out that Jawbone, the one that's been rumored about a lot recently, the one that supposedly is like this very influential bandit leader, had Take, taken over control of the town. He had, uh, beyond himself, there was a lot of goons that tavern, and also most of the people of relevance were there as well. And then the party had uh, uh, tried to, to avoid being captured by them. The party had to face a a group of bandits on the streets and after the combat party decided to flee to the the sewers because surely uh, uh, after that uh, group of bandits more would surely come to find them so we ended last session with the group entering the sewers and Bringing along uh, that uh, mastiff, that uh, dog that was used against them, <laughs> to aid them in battle now, from now on. So, you are now, uh, you opened the, the vault and you, go, uh, you went down there one by one. Now you found yourselves in this wet, bad smelling and dark place. What do you do? Okay, now is this after we've had the full rest, or we still need to be able to do that? Yeah, we still need to rest. You are after the combat. Okay, I'm going to uh, use the knowledge that I have from my urchin background. Uh, you know, being homeless and in the cities and having to get by with whatever we could find. I'm going to use that knowledge and try to find us... Uh, like an, uh, I know it's we're not going to find like a completely perfect location down here but i'm gonna try to find us like a spot where maybe uh like in the end of a tunnel or something where it's a little bit more secure and maybe a little bit more dry okay you can roll survival but you find yeah uh you you do know a thing or two about uh, the sewer system. Maybe not in this specific town, but in general, you managed to find at least a a, a place where you all can fit to rest, to recover yourselves. It is at at least dry head. Uh, even so, the the smell in the air of almost uh, almost causes you nausea on all of you but you manage to endure that in order to keep yourself safe so 
So what do you do now? You're taking a short, long rest? Yeah, we need to take a long rest. Yeah. Yeah. So how uh, uh, yeah, we were all getting beat up. Uh, let's take watches. Uh, I'll take the first watch. Are you sure? I can. I don't mind um, you. Uh, that's fine. You can take the first one. Um, but you can take like a really long watch. Mm -hmm. I'll take second. All right. Uh, I'll take the final watch. Okay. Uh, are you going to, to eat something? You have your rations? Yeah, like yeah. You? Yeah, just eating the rations, drinking the water that we have on us. Um, just try to get what rest we can. Uh, each person taking their time on what? I'm not. I'm not eating anything. Okay, so uh, the first watch okay. is uh, force, right? Mm -hmm. After uh, you've eaten all. Uh, uh, the rations that you needed for the for this rest, you notice uh, for a a rat, uh, a big rat coming in your direction. He seems to be looking for your food. It's not a, it's not a, a giant rat like a naturally large. It's like a big rat, but in normal life uh, scale. <laughs> I do want to point out my, my character doesn't eat uh, as a part of their like race. Okay. Uh, so I, I think he does have like rations, just like spare rations in case anybody needs them. So I think he will like give them to the rats, but uh, he sees no problem with that. So you give uh, a part of your ration, like that, yeah. uh, that piece of dried meat, that is. Uh, uh, it's ideal for long-term travels that it will not spoil in time for, for it to, for it's better to use on travels and adventures and what so, yeah let's go uh, on the first one yeah let's go uh, <laughs> sorry you can go you know it's fine uh, let's go here you go buddy better for you than me <laughs> you, you have this, this. Uh, how can I? Say? You you have this kind of connection <laughs> with the rat because somehow you think he is happy for what you gave him, so you feel happy for yourself as well. <laughs> You see he, he taking the, the dried meat and running uh, to a place where you cannot get him anymore. But once you once you finish your, your watch and two more watches happen, who is the, the third one? Milo. The third watch? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Milo, while while you are uh as a sentinel for the group, you see a large swarm of rats coming towards you. Since now they know where they can find food. What do you do? Just a large swarm of normal rats, right? Yeah, they, they look like normal rats. All right. But it's okay, uh, I'm going to pick up a, like a, a log out of the fire, you know, flame where it's flaming on one end if there's a safe spot for me to grab it and just use that like a torch and try to run them off okay make a, a animal handling check okay well uh, you even managed to not wake up the rest of the party as you try to shush them away and after some, some, some 
some trials to manage to uh, make them run away afraid of the, the fire that you created at them. Okay. After some time, you've all managed to take your long rest. You are all at full capacity. What do you do now? Uh, is the rat still there? <laughs> the rat that I like? No, no, just, had, just had to carry off. No, 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 no. So the rats yeah. uh, are, have <laughs> run away. All right, guys, we got a couple of choices here. You know, do we want to try to sneak out of the city and go deal with the orc situation with the mushroom infestation situation out there? Or do we want to address what's going on here in the town? Uh, I think I think we should address what's going on in the town. Yeah, that we don't, does be more pressing. Yeah, we don't we don't know how things can we've kind of escalated things here. I I think we should deal with what's in town first, and then try and go for the orcs. Fix town. Any, anybody disagree with that? Fix town. Fix forest now. Fix town. Okay. I, listen, I understand you want to fix the forest and all that, but these people didn't ask for these these bandit fuckers to come in. Okay, we need to help them out. So we've we've already made it worse. We don't need to make it more worse by just abandoning them to their fate. Not what they said. They said we fixed what? forest now, fix town. We okay if we go to the forest and we. Fix I don't know, that Jonah, You're not. You're not listening. You're not listening. He's saying we already fixed the forest. Now let's fix the town. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, say? sir. You're really hard to understand. <laughs> that like rattling the forest. It's hard. All right. Cool. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe six years. You know what we really need is uh, we need to take uh, one of those uh, bandit people hostage so we can get some information. I think that could be arranged. Mm. That sounds like a good idea. Light bandits on fire. Bandits go away. Okay, maybe not that. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of like his plan. I don't that, that disagree. Somewhere. Maybe something less flashy. Okay, so the dog is uh, fully healed too, right? Yeah, I'm definitely going to feed him and keep him near me. Yeah, he seems to, 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 uh, to be a trained dog. And although he doesn't recognize you as his master, he is, uh, he, he doesn't seem to see you as enemies anymore since you take care of him. Uh, I still, I still, I still have more rations. Can I give him another ration as like a, I'm sorry yeah. <laughs> for poisoning you? Yeah, yeah, you, you, you give him treats and whatnot. And he stays yeah, yeah, yeah. docile, at least for the time being. <laughs> I think he feels just a little bad. <laughs> okay, uh, what time of day is it right now? Do we know? Yeah, since you, you took a, a long rest and you entered the city at night, uh, let's say now it's around uh, 9 a.m. All right, so here, here's our situation. Two people got away from that fight and can identify us. Uh, depending on how much control they've got over the city, we could be in a whole lot of trouble being on the streets in broad daylight. Mm -hmm. I agree. Oh, wait, by the way, um, 
What we we looted those bodies. What did we get from them? Yeah, you looted them. Oh. There he is. Okay, so uh, there is from equ equipment wise, uh, you managed to find a a spiked club. Also a regular club. Uh, you managed to find a dagger. A leather armor for a small uh, sized humanoid. Also a, a short sword and a short bow. Okay. Gold Is it wise. A short sword? Yeah. Uh, gold wise. Uh, you scrapled from all the bodies uh, uh, around uh, 17 gold pieces. Okay. And, lastly but not least, the other strange mechanism that you have found in the corpse of that engineer, that rock gnome engineer. You seem to find something like it is a small globe, but it, it, it is quite heavy. And as you shake it uh, close to your ear, you hear that there's some sort of liquid inside. Since you all mm. took a, a long rest, you've, you have kept your time to study it. And you now discover that it, uh, it works sort of like a grenade. And in... in Rules wise, it's a burning hand spell in the form of a item. So it's a one use only type of thing. And it, the, the the C for the test is the same as the intelligence of the, the person who made it, which is 12. Damn. Can, can we, can, can uh, one of us figure out how to like how it's made or what? I don't know. That might be a that might be a bit too much for us. Yeah, I feel like we would have to have an uh, yeah, that's all. Somebody of that class, yeah, artificer. Yeah. yeah, my mind was blanking completely. <laughs> it happens. Mm. But you can all uh, uh, you can add. I don't know who who will keep the the item, but you can write down a grenade of burning hand. If you want to write down the DC the DC twelve for the eight. Okay, uh I had grabbed the dagger and cloak that the night stalker dude had dropped. Was there anything special about either one of those? Yeah, no, they There's Okay cool. nothing anything special, but they look cool. <laughs> Looks cool, yeah, sweet. <laughs> I may steal the cloak. <laughs> So, All right, so uh, go ahead, Jonah. I, I, I'm just curious. Uh, there was a there was a cleric in their party, right? Yeah. Did they have like a religious object, like a like a uh, blink on the word? Yeah, the uh, a, a holy symbol. Focus. Uh, yeah, like a holy holy symbol. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, they 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 did. Um. Now that you, you came close to it, you, you noticed that he was a um, cleric to an evil deity. So you, you examined the, the, the holy symbol and you find out, found out that it, it's the symbol of a fiend. A uh, infernal or abyssal type of... If you want, you can roll religion to determine... What creature is uh, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I'll roll religion. Can I use. Uh, hold on, then. I'm gonna use knowledge from a past life. Let me see if I can put it on here. I get to add like a d6 uh, after I roll to like add to it. It's a racial thing, I guess. Okay, so okay, religion. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna roll religion. 
uh, <laughs> 15, okay, and then I, uh, you won't put it on the thing. Uh, yeah, so I, I can read this, uh, feature if you want, just so, you know, so, uh, you temporarily remember a glimpse of the past life, da 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 uh, after you roll a skill, you can, uh, roll a d6 immediately after, uh, you see the number on the d20, and then add the number on the d6 to the check. Uh, I can do this, like, a total of two times. I'm gonna go and roll. Go. So, mm -hmm. Total. You, uh, actually have heard, uh, have seen that symbol, maybe in a book, maybe somewhere that you might have found a this type of enemy. It is certainly a sigil of a devil, one of the princes of when you look at it, I'm sure that it belongs to Asmodeus. Mm. Can I take it? Uh, you already had already has it. Sweet, I'm gonna take that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh. Um. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Sweet. Anything else that you wanna do while you're still here? Uh, uh did did we do anything to hide those bodies of the people we killed? Uh we did not. Did not. <laughs> yeah, you I think if someone mentioned to to put the bodies on on as well, but since you left the, oh, yeah. the right, the exact spot where you went down the street, I don't think you brought them with you. Maybe you just throw them on the sewers and then left the that spot. But that's up to you. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, we we got two eyewitnesses that saw us there killing them that got away, so. You know, we're 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 linked to them no matter what. Oh, so turning into one of them and going and trying to gather information probably wouldn't work. Oh, probably. Uh, uh, besides the the eyewitness, <laughs> managed to avoid the eyewitness <laughs> and talk to any other member of the the gang. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sorry. I had to run away for a second. Are you guys dead? Uh, no. Nope. Not yet. Not yet. Good, Good job. So if nobody thinks that's a bad idea, I might do that. Which one are you going to try to look like? Uh... The guy who had originally had the dog, was he one of the ones we killed? Yeah, we yep. killed him. I think I'm gonna go with him and then take the Mastiff with me. It was the Acolyte, right? It had... I believe so. I thought it was like the really big guy with the scarred face. And the dog, if that's what we're talking about. Uh, if you go with the Acolyte, I, I could give you the uh, the uh, holy symbol if you want to like, add further credibility. That wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, do that. Um, are you using a spell to look like him, or...? I'm a changeling. Oh, right, right. That's right. Okay, cool. Well, 
like, guess I'm just going to turn into him and climb up out of the sewers? Yeah, I'm going to hand you the uh, holy symbol uh, when you get done. Alrighty. Follow up question: Are you taking the the mastiff with you? Uh, I got a better uh, idea. Me. <clears throat> Sorry, me mm, have idea. <laughs> I shape shift into a large mastiff and I'll follow you. Oh, perfect. All right. That one that looks like is, looks, li looks like exactly the one that you rescued. Pretty much. Step with a big beard, because of my door. Okay, so, um, it is still, uh, broad daylight. Are you just going to come out of the sewer, or what's your plan? Uh, I think I'm just gonna go up out of the sewers. You are, you are... You, both of you will already come out as transformed on the, the Acolyte and on the dock, right? Yes. Uh, you want to roll for stealth to see if you uh, don't call much attention, or are you just going to come out and... What's your method here? Rolling stealth. <laughs> Very poorly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you you don't manage. Uh, you manage to to uh, draw unwanted attention as you come. Uh, when you get out of the sewers around ten o'clock morning, you you look at the town and it seems to have. It seems that the town is back to normal. You see the, uh, the people working once again. You see a guard passing uh, through the, the town with a spear resting on his shoulder. You see, uh, you see a, or a horse-drawn carriage passing through the street. Everything seems back to normal. And as you look to the, the people on the streets, they all look at you coming out of the sewer like that and they all make this weird weird looking like what the hell were you doing there <laughs> but they don't say anything to you what do you do now well the rest of us are just waiting while he goes out to do a little bit of recon right yeah yes as you want to uh, can I, can I do a survival check just to see what I find down here? <laughs> yeah, uh, one second. Let's make the, the above ground part and then That's fine. we'll come back to, to the underground. So, uh, I guess I'm gonna go over to one of the townspeople and ask where the, the rest of the bandits who were here yesterday went. You use that word, bandit? No. <laughs> I guess yes. Too late now. <laughs> okay. Uh, you 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 came over to Trey guy that, that was just uh, sweeping the front of his his business, and when you say that, he, shh, hey, don't say that word. 
Tao is now, now is under rule of Chao Bo. Cannot say that word. We normal folk just need to behave and everything will be fine. What is that smell? Ugh. Just stink. And that dog of yours. Sorry, we, we we got into a we got into a fight yesterday, and while they while the people we fought thought they killed us, the, the me and the dog weren't actually dead, and they threw us into the sewer. Oh. Yeah, go take a shower. Go take a bath. I don't think I will. <laughs> okay, so... Guess I'm just gonna go look for Jawbone? To try and find him and his crew. You're gonna split up the party? And... Uh... No, I should probably tell you guys what I just found out first, shouldn't I? Good, Ben. <laughs> if you want, you can roll good. investigation, um, David, and just to see if you find out the general direction where he might be he hiding. He stay. So, oh, yeah, natural twenty. All right. <laughs> so you managed to figure out exactly uh, where he is now, precisely. The person that you speak to says, "Yeah, the boss is in the tavern right now. He, he'll be there for the for the whole day. I think he he has some meetings planned. The merchants of the town." Okay, so I I'm just gonna go find an alley with a entrance to the sewers and try and get back in there. Okay, after some time, uh, you all gather together. Uh, in, in the meantime, uh, four, what what did you did you wanted to do? Why are you, why are you uh, wearing this? I just want to roll a survival check to see what I would like, what I could find in the sewer. Okay, what? Oh, 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 wait. Okay! That's a natural 20, plus 4. <laughs> yeah, go on, waste all your natural 20s on new chests. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> One in a row. One more and we win. Four. You walk around through this um through these tunnels of uh and it's almost seem like a labyrinth when you think about it because they 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 are not like in a logical architectural way. They seem to be at random. Random curves and random uh, corridors all around as you try to explore. At one point, uh, you you are walking uh, alongside a wall, and when you find and at your right there is an opening, and when you uh, you put your head to look what at all to see this large creature. It seems a humanoid, but it's actually huge, uh, like a large humanoid with long limbs, arms and legs. Uh, his arms are so uh, long that almost touches the ground as he stands tall. Uh, he has. A large gaping mouth, huge canine. 
his claws are also very big and very pointy. He looks at you, his eyes glow in the dark, and he roars. He runs towards you. Look at it. He throws. Okay? The okay. troll runs at you at full speed. But before he reaches you, you notice there's something around his neck. Now that you take a close look, it looks like a leash. And before he, he, he his arms stretch to reach you, he, he is. Uh, the, the leash uh, pulls him back. And he is not able to put his arms on you. But he's still there trying. Are the rest of us able to hear this? Yeah, that was before they they came back to the underground. So Milo, you can hear this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to definitely head that way to go see what's going on. See if he needs help. You say you say he has a leash on him, uh, on his neck. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for Milo, but I might I might do something <laughs> when he gets here, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna stand, I'm gonna stand there and wait for uh, for Milo, uh, or just anybody really. Well, it's just me and you still down here. The, the other two are up. Oh, oh. right. It just does. Milo, you, Wait, well, in that case, uh, you came to him and you see the, the, the creature. And I can see the leash, right? What's the leash attached to? It seems to be attached to uh, something on the wall. But it, even though he is a, a big, strong creature, he doesn't seem to be able to, to break free. So, right, but he, he's not able. Okay, and do I see anything else, any obvious reason for him to be here? You look around and on, on this wall behind him, there seems to be a door. Okay, uh, that being the case, uh, go ahead. What check could I do? To kind of help calm this creature a little bit. Not to, like I'm not saying like make it like friendly or anything, just like calm it down so it's not raging right now. Yeah. Uh, I would say you may try to persuade it. You say it's not a, a smart creature, mm -hmm. but chaotic evil and it's. Very pissed off, so try to throw some high numbers now. <laughs> but yeah, persuasion. I don't want to get. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a shot. Uh, twelve. Uh, can't. Ah, oh, shit. Should I? Do you think I should add uh that knowledge of past life with the D six to it, or do you think I should just not? Uh, heck, why not go for it? I'm gonna do that. I, I think I think this is important. Okay. Two. Yeah, <laughs> so fourteen. 14. Yeah, fifteen. But yeah, let me roll for it. Be fair. My insight was higher, so he's not listening to your crap. He's still pissed off, <laughs> and he's still. Shaking his hand, trying to reach one of you, but he's unable. Okay, he can't reach uh, us, but we can, like, do shit to him. Let's go ahead and kill him. He's a troll. Uh, you got any way of starting fires? I have the grenade. Do I have the grenade? <laughs> yeah, you have the grenade. I have the grenade. Actually, you, I don't... it's better if you all decide as a team who should have it. Right. I wouldn't have really wanted to be the one to have it. I, I think I, I think I would have wanted it <laughs> just to have. 
I think I, I can make use of it. I, I would have just let you have it. Okay. Uh, I think uh, I'm going to go... Ash, I don't know about this. And, uh, well, let, let's put him down, and then we can set him on fire. Keep him from regenerating. Okay. So, what's the the average damage that both of you do in a... Uh, uh, I guess like a D10? Let's see, uh, I do... Uh, the, average, the average of the die? Like the... On the plus my, oh, the average... Yeah, no, uh, it'd be five. It'd be five. My uh, average would be eight. Including your modifiers, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's just say that you've managed to take your 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 space and you start throwing things at them. Right? You start throwing your spells, your arrows, and in the middle of that, the troll uh, seems to be getting hurt but also regenerating but then uh jasper and david uh find you in the middle of the sewers you are all the four of you are all reunited okay cool so what do you do uh... just keep on keeping on David, Jasper, I... you see that they are trying to take down this big troll? I guess I start attacking the troll too? No questions asked, just <laughs> attacking the troll. So my question yeah. is, uh, are you going to expand any spell slot uh, first level slot for thunder wind okay. so you can expand a spell slot and also milo you you have your your how many arrows total do you have Uh, hang on just one second. Okay, I had two bundles, uh, of which I've used six. Okay, uh, a bundle is 20, I guess. How many total? Uh, I've I've got thirty six left 36. or thirty four left. I've got thirty four left. So, so let's just say you expand uh, uh twelve arrows on this that that, that are not uh you cannot recuperate them because they. they at the creature and as he starts regenerating they broke inside of him so 12 arrows this late is uh, will not do any combat because the creature is cannot move so just a free win for you okay after some 10 to 15 minutes of throwing things at it finally falls down to the Okay. Uh, can so uh, the the druid and um, shoot, I'm sorry, David. David what is and Jasper? Yeah. Uh, what is your class, David? Bard. Right. The 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 bard and the druid are back. Can either one of you guys set this guy on fire so that he doesn't regenerate and come come back? Uh, I. Cannot. 
I can, yeah. I use Druid. Uh, is there anything I, like wood I can pile on top of it or anything? Because uh, I can light it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Uh, you can paper, take it. Paper, doesn't matter. Yeah, paper. Yeah, okay. You find enough flammable objects. I use Druid Craft to light it up. Okay. So you manage to light it on fire. Before it, it can come back to life, attack you, it starts to burn and stays dead. I'm What do you do now? So is it is it fully dead now? Yeah, it's uh it's uh burnt to a crisp. Okay, is it is it still does it still have the collar around its neck? Yeah, the uh, the collar it, it's now that you can take a, a closer look to it, it, it seems to be made of metal, but as you try to uh, it's like a chain. Uh, put around his neck as you try to examine the metal it almost seems like it's magically enhanced or it's some some uh, different type of metal it's not steel it's something even better or it's magically enhanced and I do an arcana check okay you can it's weak <laughs> okay <laughs> That's, that's, that's pretty, pretty, okay. Yeah, you, you <laughs> take the same conclusion. <laughs> Can I try and remove it from its neck? Yeah, not that it's dead. <laughs> Doesn't yeah. uh, seem to be dangerous. You can manage to unfurl the pain. And you, you now have uh, 10 feet of this very resistant metal chain. Okay, I'm going to pocket that, uh, if I can. Uh, can I, can I, can I kneel down to, like, where the creature's at? Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to kneel down. I'm going to put my hand on it, just, like, anywhere, really. I'm just going to, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, you now clearly see the door behind that creature. He, he was sort of, sort of guarding it, protecting it. All right, uh, I'm gonna check around the door for traps. You don't need to roll. You take a close look to it, and you don't find any traps. Okay. Um, I want to go ahead and listen at the door as well. Um, see if I hear anything on the other side, any kind of activity or movement. Okay, you can make perception for that. Okay. Um, you put your ear close to the door and you seem to be hearing sort of chemicals sounding. Like... Some uh, some liquid boiling and the bubbles blasting and some glass tingling. It seems to have something of the sort is happening on the other side. Either some chemical invent inventation or maybe someone is cooking. <laughs> Either one of those. Right. Okay. And there is there light coming from under the door? It is not. All right, I'm going to slowly ease the door open a little bit, see if I can get a look in there. So, as you open it slowly, you all uh, receive a different smell coming towards your nostrils. Instead of that uh, waste smell uh, coming from the sewer, now there is a also a strong smell, but it's more like uh, chemical-ish. You you like to like the smell of of sulfur and other chemical elements 
uh, mixed together, kind of permeating this room. The light is almost none, except for a candlelight that burns a uh, orange uh, bright color, but it's only around this, the only table that you see in this place. And uh, you also start to hear the same thing, that, the same sounds that I described a while. But once the, 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 the noise of the door opening is heard on this room, a voice coming from inside starts to speak in out loud. And he says, Huh? Klaus? Is that you, Klaus? How did you get past Mr. Fofo? I'm going to go ahead and step into the room and say, no, Klaus is busy. Huh? Who, who are you? How did you find this place? Okay, now I've stepped into the room. I'm looking around before I answer him. What all do I see? Yeah. Uh, you have dark vision? I do. Okay. So you see this very, very... Uh, it's kind of a alchemical laboratory, but it's... Like a made of scrap and made of recycled uh, tools and items. And all around you see tables and instruments of to to make alchemical concussions, but they all of bad quality. And the person you you are talking to is this very very old man, if. Uh, he is bald, and you see it, the top of his head is full of marks, and and uh, like uh, he seems to be almost himself uh, alchemical, alchemically altered. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I can identify with that. Is there any other way out of the room other than the door that I just came through? You see a a ladder that goes up to maybe the street. Okay. Uh, Who are you? How did you find this place? How did you pass, Mister Fofa? Mm, wasn't that difficult? As as I'm saying that, I'm going to advance just a little bit. I want to try to put myself between him and the ladder if I can. Okay. Uh, and the others? Will enter the room? Or? Uh, I think I'm still there by the troll. I haven't moved yet. I, I'm going to enter the room and cast Dancing Light so I can see better. Okay. The room's more dimly, uh, it's more lightly illuminated. Uh, uh, well, this this is a not place for for you. This is my lab. Please leave. What are you making in here? Potions. Hey, I actually know how to use uh, an alchemy kit. Um, can I use my knowledge to get a better idea of what it is that he's actually making? Yeah, you can. So, uh, you can roll your your alchemy alchemy supplies. Really? Um, yeah, I'm just... If it's not in your proficiencies, then r just roll intelligence and add your proficiency modifier. Plus two, right? Plus two, so yeah, uh, 17. You look around and uh, besides the, 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 reagent, the alchemical reagents and other minor ingredients. The main ingredient he seems to be using is this very thick green liquid. 
that seems to be there. You look around it, and there is plenty of it. After some, some, uh, some mental uh, checks that you are making yourself. Uh, you came to the conclusion that he's using the troll's blood potion. Probably with the intention of making regenerate uh, healing or regeneration po potion. Do uh, is there any finished ones laying around? Yeah, there is one uh, uh, vial of this uh, thick green liquid in front of you. How much do you charge for your potions? Uh, uh, they're, they're not for sale. They're for recreational use only. <laughs> okay, interesting. Um, have you got... What do you know about what's going on in the city right now? Uh, who, who is asking? The guy with the bow. You, you, you killed Mr. Fofo, right? didn't you? Yeah. Oh, damn. Be in so much trouble for that. You know how hard it is to capture a living troll? I can very well imagine, actually. Well, yeah. So, uh... Just so you know, I'm just a mere peasant in the great great scheme of things, okay? So, whatever you do, uh, don't at me, okay? So, about the town. Yeah. My, my associates used to run this town in secret. Now there is this new guy, Chowbon, the name. He sort of took over. I don't know what he's, he's up to. Doesn't seem to be the nice kind of of thief, you know? He's more like the, the bad type. Okay, well, uh, we're not big fans of him ourselves. Uh, so I take it you guys would be interested in Getting him removed or helping remove him, huh? Well, yes. Actually, my associates just left the place after he took over. Your guild just gave up the city? Yeah, too much trouble. But, yeah. Uh, then why are you I, still here? I guess. Well, because haven't found a way to move this living troll without getting myself killed. Also, I thought no one would ever find me. So I was wrong. But uh, I think, I think there is some, some business to, to, to be made here. If you've managed to get rid of Jobo. I, I, I'm sure my, my associates will, would be happy to pay you for the job. Pay how much? There, we're talking about a whole town. Not only a town, but the only place that's able to... The only place that one can go from one continent to the other by a land. This is a, a very valuable town. I think they are... That's why I was so quite surprised that your guild just gave it up like that. Yeah, I'm, not the one, I'm not the one with the money. Just saying, I think they would be, be willing to pay a large sum for, for the recovery of this town. Uh, could you put us in contact with any of the uh, people that can actually uh, make that kind of deal? Yeah. Actually, I can't. Because they left. I don't know where they were. But they wouldn't 
just leave me here so i think uh, maybe one of these days someone might come up and just grab the potions that i made and give me more information this day hasn't hasn't come yet Hmm. Well, we're, weren't we planning on getting rid of Jawbone anyways? I know where he is now. Okay, so I, I, I look at the guy and I'm like, you need to get in touch with your people. Make us an offer that we can do something with. And we'll let you know. I literally am unable to. Well, maybe we'll just take control of the town over. Well, if you're willing to sell it to the court, then as it's business. I like business. Where does that ladder go? It's a very, very, uh, let me say alleyway. Very subtle. I like subtle. Well, we know where to find you. We'll be in touch. So are you not going to pay me for the dead troll? Pay you for the dead troll? We're letting you live, aren't we? What did I do to deserve to die? I'm just working. The troll was a danger. We removed a danger to the city. He was on a leash and no one comes down here. Clearly, you're not wrong, right about the second part of that. Yeah, only madmen like you and me. And why should I think that uh, you were a reasonable keeper of the troll? Well, I work here a long time already, so nothing ever happened. Nah. You had a monster inside the city limits. It, he was... It was I, a renewable source of of uh, of prime of of feedstock raw material. Well, like you said a while ago, business is business. Your business had a bit of a downturn today. There's nothing I can do about. It. But I'm just saying, you don't want to start with the wrong foot, with the cord. Believe me. You don't think that, uh... Corge. Getting rid of Jawbone? Resolving this problem that ran off your entire guild isn't more of a big deal than... You know, your little pet? Uh, it is, but... Are you going to be able to get rid of him? With style. <laughs> well... I'll, I'll be happy to help you. Not, not really help. But, um... Maybe I can give you a discount on potions. What do you say? Well, just a minute ago, you didn't want to sell us any. Yeah, but uh, I was still getting to know you. You have the, the, the right type of mindset. 
you came here you blew up my business and you just said well that happens that is the type of people the card can work with <laughs> Okay. What kind of potions have you got for sale? This is my my best selling best seller. It's made of troll's blood, some other region. I usually charge a hundred gold pieces. Each. But for you, I'll make 70. What do you say? Okay. Um, I've got the alchemy uh, lab proficiency, and four has the uh, herbalism one. Between the two of us, can we check those potions out and make sure that they're legit and it's not going to be something bad happen to us? Yeah. Uh... One of you uh, rolls the uh, proficiency, the, the, the ability check, and the other one gives advantage. Okay, uh, I, I'm going to give you advantage, four. And can I give four a bardic inspiration? Yeah, of course you can. Well, I, I haven't come in yet, is the thing. And so back there with troll. Well, I'm calling you in. Come on in, four. We need to check this out. That's a okay. D6. Uh, a D6? Alright, cool. Uh, so what am I making? Uh, You're doing a uh, herbalism kit check. With advantage, uh, and also you get to add a D6. Bardic Inspiration. Uh, herbalism, which, which uh, attribute is that? Is it intelligence or wisdom? Uh, you can roll intelligence. You should just be able to click on your I did, and it did pop this up. Okay, uh, uh, do intelligence, and then uh, we'll add your proficiency. Do intelligence with advantage. We'll add your proficiency the, to what you get, and then that d6. Yeah, actually, if you if you want to save it for later, because a twenty-one is already cool. All right. Yeah. So roll. Uh, okay, so uh, four, you you take the vial on your hand, you start to examine it. You then uh, four and Milo, you both have a look at it, and you came to the same conclusion. It is a potion of regeneration in quotation marks. Uh, it will uh, regenerate the uh, HP of a creature that drinks it. It uh, seems to to have a lasting effect. Calculates around a minute, but you that the reagent that they used and the other chemicals that he, he put on it, it is not only a potion. It's also a drug. Causes dependency. This surely will have. Uh, well, uh, side effects after use. Maybe uh, one hour after the use, uh, the user will have exhaustion or have something around those lines. Okay, that's is, interesting. Is there any way we could remove that effect over time? Yeah, you can. Um, but it, it will take at least a, a long rest of work. And there is a chance that it loses potency. Okay. I'm not going to spend that much money on one of these potions right now. The rest of you can if you want to. I don't have that much money. How much is it? 70. 75 gold. Oh, 70 gold. 70 gold? And, I mean, it's good and all, but that's like most of my money. I'm not spending that much. <laughs> yeah, in, in rules term, you you regenerate 1d6 plus 1 HP each time uh, for one minute. Just 10 rounds. Uh, every, 
every start of your turn. And I there is if there is not the part of if you take fire damage that it cancels. Ten minutes, no matter what. Unless you fall unconscious. Okay. Yeah, it's a cool potion, but uh I think we'd be better off trying to find a way for uh Four to make us some potions with his uh, herbalism kit. Yeah. Oh, uh, you do you. I also have, <laughs> I also have some other things here, like alchemist fire, acid. Uh, in in general, like the the items. From the the player's handbook that, that are somehow related to alchemy, and he sells for the for the player's handbook price. So he has acid at twenty five GP, alchemist fire I think one no it's fifty GP, and a vial of poison to put on put on a blade or oh. the basic potion poison is a hundred. So you know. Ooh. I can make poison, it's fine. <laughs> I, got, I got I got a poisoner's kit. Well, you know where where to buy if you change your mind. Okay. Um I I ask him where's the nearest uh like supply shop, like general store? If you take this this ladder here, and, and then you turn right on the on the first uh, street, and then left when you find the the big rock on the middle of the sidewalk, there you find a good general store. But don't mention my name there. Yeah, no problem. All right, I'm gonna give him five gold for the information. Oh, really? Really a kind soul. Thank you. It's not the, the price of a living troll and all that, but this is, serves a start of compensation. Yeah, I'm sure we'll uh, work something out on that. Okay, I need to go to the general store because I'm not as stocked up on arrows anymore as I would like to be. Okay, um, you want to do that stealthily, at least going out of the... Yeah, now, uh, Four, we had talked about, like, did you need armor? I do have armor. Uh, I have leather armor. I can get, like... Yeah, I can go with you. Uh, I, I, can, I can wear better armor. Okay. Does anybody else need any kind of supplies? Nope. Uh, no. Okay. Um. While we're doing our shopping, uh, David, uh, you're the bard. Why don't you try to see if you can get some more information for for, for us out of the uh, shopkeeper? Okay. But yeah, going to try to be sneaky and uh, want to try to get to the shop without getting any undue attention, if we can. Um, how's that go? Uh, yeah, uh, you can all roll for stealth then. And then you can roll either investigation as a information gathering or... You can roll persuasion if it's specific for the shopkeeper, and you try to get on his good mood. If you can get him to talk. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that's my stealth. Okay. Okay. You went out of the sewers. Without, um, yeah, yeah, without um, as yourselves, right? Right. 
I have worn that out. I'm mean, not being stealthy at all. I don't. Uh, I'm used to being stared at, so I don't really care. Can I wear that cape or that or that cowl or whatever uh, that would that we got from the loot? Okay. Okay. I'll try and like uh, play conceal myself. So oh, for information gathering, oh, it's that gathering. Dan, uh, right, Milo? Yeah. Uh, right, uh, Milo. So for information, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't understand what you said. Investigation is you you're trying to gather more information. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so first of all, uh, you can go to the general goods store and just uh, add to your sheets whatever items you want and discount the. Uh, the the pricing gold the as the, price the player's handbook. Uh, Only items from the player's handbook. Also. Also. So Milo, as you try to Milo, gather more information, uh, what exactly are you trying to? Well, uh, as we were doing making our walk, and I want to be like looking around, seeing if I can see anything obvious. Uh, regarding this other group having kind of taken over the town like how, how are people reacting to that you want to just have a look for yourself or just talk to the people see their opinions well no like on the way to the store i'm just kind of like looking around listening my, my, my main objective here is getting to the store and trying to get like see if the bard can get any information out of the shopkeeper Okay. Um, so, um, you, you you start to looking around. Seems that the people, the folk, are are trying to hide. They're trying to not intentions, but they seem to be acting like everything is normal. But it is not. Somehow you feel that there's some discontent all around. Okay. Uh, do I? Does it look like there's people like actively hunting for us? Does it look like you know people are keeping an eye on who's moving around? Really cannot tell that. Seems like likely. Not to tell if. Okay, so we make it to the general store. All right. Okay, you can just add to your sheets. Now, what do you do? I'm gonna go talk to the shopkeeper. Try, try and see if I can get. Any more information, more information, either about Jawbone or, or the group that used to run the town? Hey, you can either roll okay. investigation, or roll persuasion. investigation or persuasion. I am going to roll persuasion. Twenty-five. Yeah, Bart. <laughs> Expertise and persuasion. Yeah. Yeah. Upkeepers. Yes. Uh, other group. Probably this town. Probably this town. I have not heard of that. Do you, you, you have a mayor? Still. Have a mayor. Still. Is in the walls of. Oh, you cannot say that out loud. You cannot say that out loud. Sort of. I'm building the town right now. Building the town right now. So, uh, how would you feel if somebody just went and got rid of Jabo? Hypothetically, of course. He looks to one side. He looks to the other. He says. I don't think anything has changed. Anything has changed. 
Except, except for the. No, there's. There's brutes running around it. Running around it. They're all off. They're they're all off. It's that he said. I guess the looks. I guess it. Oh, I guess it. It, it would be better, but. It would be better, but. Not that much better. Not that much better, you know. Okay. Okay. Are, are we ready to go? Um. Does he have any kind of uh, special arrows? Not special. Not special. Okay. Okay. So, where you go now? Back to the sewer. Do we want to go back to the sewer, or I don't, I don't do see how it's go really going to benefit us much going back to the sewer. We need more information. Guys, let's make a, a let's take five, and guys can your your ideas and what we do in five minutes. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. Okay.
My, my, is stuff still bleeding through the mic? No. Oh. Yeah, sounds good. I can't hear myself. It's so freaking hot out oh, here in Brazil. It's actually pretty cold here in Tennessee. Melting. I'm sorry. Uh, my cousin right now is dealing with negative 40, so. Yeah. Oh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's 28 where we're at right now. <laughs> Which, you know. It's, 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 moment, but, uh, but it, my it's cold for us. <laughs> For today it was uh, 33 Celsius. I think it's 90 Fahrenheit. 91. This is how hot it has been. Damn. I'm sorry. That sucks. That's definitely warm. Definitely warm. Uh, we are all here. Ben, Wait for ben. Oh, uh, I went ahead and bought a chain shirt. By the way, I can wear medium armor as an apothecary. So I went ahead and helped. So, sorry, I forgot I had myself muted. Okay. <laughs> I've been sitting here talking for a few minutes. <laughs> yeah, that happens to everyone sometimes. Let me see if I unmuted on. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, as you gather inside this general goods store, the four of you, uh, you have some options here. You know where uh, Jawbone is. He's at the tavern, the same tavern that you met um, Alva and. The one that stole her, her artifact. You you know where he is. You can either uh, go there stealthily, or maybe you go there all guns blazing. Just try to by surprise. Uh, you can t also um, see that since uh, uh, that weird uh, old guy, alchemist guy has a lot of alchemicals with him maybe he, he would be able to make a fraction maybe he created a big explosion somewhere in, in town to, to drive the attentions of the other bandits so you can strike jawbone blank either that or maybe you could get some help from outside so, other town ask for help something like that maybe you can try to walk down the, the bandit jawbone see what do you want maybe you can reach an agreement well last time we tried talking so well <laughs> downward again <laughs> mm. I don't know about the explosion Property damage, collateral damage is a thing to consider. Hmm. We try to get help in another town. <clears throat> uh, well, do I think that I, we could easily get from where we're at to? the vicinity of the tower by going through the uh uh sewer tunnels uh, probably you could maybe you need some survival checks to find your path technically okay. you could all right and um Let's see, what time of day is it right now? Uh, it is around midday. All 
All right, guys, what do you think about this plan? We go down into the sewers. We get in the vicinity of the tavern. We wait for nightfall. And nightfall, we go in and deal with Jawbone, whether whether that means negotiation or just taking him out. You know, uh, if we can get in the tavern without raising a ruckus first, I feel like we got a better chance of it not being, uh, you know, us against an entire army. Good plan. Yeah, I kind of like it. Sounds like a good plan to me. All right, let's go ahead and work on that then. So you go to the sewers, right? Yeah. Uh, as you are going towards the sewer, uh, roll a perception check, Milo. Uh, before you asked me uh, uh, if you could see anyone that is to be hunted for you or something like that, right? Yeah. So now, uh, you go through back to the to that alleyway, uh, to go down to the ladder where you can just go to to the lab. As you enter that alleyway. All fine. A group of bandits waiting for you. One of them looks exactly like the one that got away from your encounter last time. Oh yeah, okay. They seen us? <laughs> yeah, since you, everyone is here. you you do you went straight to the alleyway. You ended up uh, face to face with. Yeah, can I use the grenade on them? <laughs> yeah, you can. Early. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm use the grenade on them. <laughs> yeah, CD 12. Use the. There is. Let me just mess roll save it a dexterity, right? For burning hands. Dexterity. Okay. So roll uh DC twelve. It was not at advanced. Don't you uh Four, four of them pass their save, the other two fail. So you can roll 3d6. Alright. Uh, uh, so 4, 2, and 1. Evan? So, uh, two of them took seven damage and the other took only three. You now have a, a opportunity either to run away or to, to face them. What do you want to do? We're, we're gonna run. <laughs> Why are we gonna run? Let's kill them. I mean, we can, but like, I'd rather not have to. I'd rather not fight someone if I can. If, like, if, if we me. run, they'll just, you know, like, call more help. A fair point. All right, cool. Let's fight. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna uh, activate my. Uh, yeah, first of all, uh, run in, uh, initiative. You put on the battle map. Yeah, here in this in channel, we recycle battle maps. So we're just on a different spot of that same. <laughs> battle map <laughs> <for> last week. <laughs> So, oh, uh, two of them took seven damage. Uh, 
Okay, I got a dirty 20 on my initiative. Um, can you fix that? Yeah, thank you. I think I got a two. <laughs> I got a 12. Four and what's your initiative, um, David? 12. Oh my god. Go for four and now it's. Yeah, so Milo, you go first. Okay, I'm going to use my bonus action to activate uh, uh, Ride of the Frozen on my bow. So I'm going to take a d4 of damage. Points of damage, and then I'm going to um, I'm going to shoot uh, the guy that got away from us last time. Okay, he is the the first one. And this time he brought his five twin brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Nine damage. Okay. Managed to land the, the arrow straight through his chest. He fall down on his knee. And you, you notice he, he was trying to say something, but he, he went out of breath with that uh, piercing weapon going through his chest. Just, uh, 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 and he died. Right in front of You want to move? You want to do anything else before you pass your turn? Yeah, I'm going to use my movement to get right there i have spider climb basically all the time now Ooh. it is getting on oh, uh, uh, yeah, as you as you are moving one of the bandits go oh sons of bitches that was your last chance. Prepare to die. He goes over here and he'll try a shot at four. And he doesn't land. I don't know why I'm rolling at disadvantage. Can be a normal here. But this guy is dead. Now this one. He goes oh, anyway. to get a cover and. Start. Um, I moved the wrong icon. Apparently, you had my icon now on, on this other spot, and I had put it over on the map in another place. Do you mind if I go ahead and just uh, remove my character to like where I would have wanted him? Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, you can. Okay, now thank you. That. It's all right. I was just looking at it entirely the wrong place. This one, uh, you try to hit it at, um, it at um, Milo. Milo. At my, my long. Yeah, yeah since you are at the top yeah, of the roof, I would say this one is at disadvantage, so a 13 doesn't hit, right? Uh, a 13 is exactly what it takes to hit me. Okay, you take 3 damage. Okay. 3 damage. Okay. Okay. Now it's the V. Now it's the V. Okay. I would like I to cast like Shatter. Range of 60 feet. 
So the uh, I'm gonna uh, center it on this center it on this on this corner of the building where the there's building four of them. There's four of them. And they need constitution saving. Okay. Just take this part out for you. Constitution saving. Oh, only two of them best. Go ahead and roll your damage. Go ahead and roll your damage. Nineteen damage. Nineteen damage. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So the ten foot the radius ten foot sphere, radius sphere around, around this corner. This corner. You bring it? You bring it? Uh, how do I ping it? You can click and uh, can hold, click and, uh, uh, hold the uh, girl. girl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was yeah, that, uh, that, that was, was where I was thinking. That was where I was thinking. So yeah, with that so, nineteen yeah. Okay. for damage, you manage. They take like half. Even the ones that took half so, managed to kill them, them all. Awesome. So, uh, let's oh, see. It is guys dead. Now it's Jasper's turn. Uh, yep. Uh, man, not really much stuff for me to do. Uh. We'll do a we'll do moonbeam right on that guy right there. The thirteen con saves. Yeah, I got a twenty. So he saved its half. No, seven radiant damage. But that is enough. That is enough. Expanding our Expanding level our three resources, aren't we? <laughs> Dead are now moving. Dead are now moving. Look at us. Look at us. <laughs> you managed to wipe them all out. The path to get towards the sewer is not clear. Okay, uh, I'm gonna grab loot off of them real quick, though. Yeah, they they have uh, 22 gold pieces total, and they each carry a scimitar, a light crossbow, and wear leather armor. Uh, each one has uh, let me. Each one of them carries three uh, crossbow bolts. <clears throat> okay, between that gold and the gold that we got earlier, uh, that's a total of 39 gold. Um, let's divide that four ways. Everybody will get 10, I'll get 9. Alrighty. And I'm going to retrieve my one arrow that I shot. Uh, under the description it says, after a battle, you can retrieve half of the arrows. So that's at least one. Yeah. I only shot one, so. Okay, perfect. So where are you head now? Go down to the sewers? Again? Yeah, on down to the sewers. Okay. We, we killed them so fast. I didn't even get like a chance to go. That's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> that's how dead they are. <laughs> well, you 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 shot the the fire grenade. Third level's wild, man. 
And it only gets crazier from here. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, you go da back downstairs, and the, the old man... What the hell was that noise? Uh, looks like we killed a bandit pack that was on their way to come down here and mess with you. Oh, really? You have my thanks. Yeah, they were just above the entrance here. Any one of them left? Five? No. No. Yeah, either, either they were coming for you, or you called them and they were waiting for us. Which one do you think it would be? They were Jawbone's man? Yeah. And the first option. I'm gonna leave this place soon. Uh, uh, my, my tools and everything else will still be here if you want to use it. I'll only, left, I'll only leave with my ingredients, my potion. I cannot work from my troll anymore, so and now that, that I've been burned, you know where I live, it's not safe for me anymore. Yeah, I'd say you're correct. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to start trying to lead us over to the uh, uh, an exit from the sewers near the tavern. As you head uh, down through this labyrinthine corridors from the source, make a survival check. And if anyone else has uh, proficiency in survival, uh, the, the one to, who has the, the, the better bonus can roll at advantage. Okay, I've got survival uh, and my bonus is... Uh, one. Mine's four. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be helping you then. Uh, I got twenty. Did you say yours was like? Did you say yours was five, Ben? No, four. mine's one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'm I'm helping four. If I have the best survival. Don't know what. <laughs> Looks like a dirty twenty-three. About 33 survive. That is for you to not get lost on the way there. But, yeah. But to see how uh, how you manage to to avoid danger while walking in the sewers, I will instead ask for each one of you to roll a d6. Uh, three. That's uh, a <laughs> Uh, how, how did rolling a d6 get to 10? Yeah, <laughs> that is. It, it, roll, it rolled a d6. I don't understand. One. Oh. Ben, no. <laughs> uh, you, how, how did you, you you write that down to. to you wrote on the chat or you wrote through the, the through box? I wrote. Left? The box on the left. Really? Never seen that. Okay, that's weird. Okay, I did it again, and it came up with a four this time. <laughs> How the hell? <laughs> yeah, that is that is something to report to to the to the support from Rule Twenty. Anyways, okay. So we got a one from from uh. From David. From David, yeah. I was trying not to say Ben, because I want to keep calling you by your characters. characters and... Anyways, um, yeah, so you walk through these straight corridors. Try to find your path through this la labyrinthine. Uh, who. Who of you is going first, going ahead of the others? Well, since Ford is 
or four is leading us. I'm thinking four is in the lead. Yeah. I'll go in the, seems to be where I'm usually at. Very <laughs> yeah, I'll go. I'll go first. So, uh, four, you can go ahead and roll a perception. Okay, let's go. 22. <laughs> that that's not 20. Not 20, yeah. That's 20. <laughs> really well. Wish. Don't get to bragging about your roles, boy. And I'm not. I'm not. I'm just, you know, That's observation. The easiest way to turn them all into not ones. Yeah, you, you saw what happened to Ariel last time. I'm not bragging. Just, you know, I'm just saying. It both both them some of As you are leading the group through the labyrinthine corridors you see something ahead of you suddenly it seems that I don't know if it's it's, it's a, a reaction from the from the sewage water or if it's another type of bell or random effects yeah but as you look forward you don't see it, it seems that the path ahead is, is somehow weird. It seems like it is a more desaturated color than what's behind you. Also, there's these little dots flying around, like black dots just uh, stationary on the air. You really can't tell what is, if it's insects, if it's any other thing, but they are frozen still on the air. Can I do an investigation check? Yeah, you, you want to do anything you want to... It, it, it's almost like this. It, you are standing on a square, and the square ahead of you, it's completely different. As I said, the, the color is kind of desaturated, and there's these things flying around, but you are still in the, the square that's normal. Okay, I, I hold my hand to like stop everybody. So there's something right ahead of us. Don't know what that's about. <laughs> okay, uh, I look around on the floor. Is there any kind of uh, debris or anything that I could just pick up? Yeah, you find a, a rock that you can throw at. It. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna toss the rock down in through there. So you toss the rock, and as it enters the square ahead of you, it starts to move slowly. It's falling down to the ground, but slowly. Also, you hear a acidic sound as the rock seems to be uh, being burned by acid. And the, the ceiling here, like how tall is this? <laughs> is, 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 it is tall, it's like a 15, uh, it's like a 10 feet in height, but uh, the thing goes all the way to the sea. Okay, and is there any discernible movement happening with it? Is it moving forward, moving backwards at all? Yeah, now that you mention it, it is. Uh, you can put yourself <laughs> in one side or the other, but the thing is right in this intersection of the of the, um, the sewers. Now it is clear <laughs> that is not just a a wall, acidic stuff. It is instead a gelatinous cube. That yeah. Now that you that it was trying to uh, to. Um, uh, to deceive you into walking into its space. Now that you've managed to throw a rock at it, it's going for you. So uh, you can put yourselves on the map, drag from the sheet to the to the map, and remember to select your tokens for initiative because it is going.
Ah, mira. Mira. Well, you'd be the closest to it. Yeah. Uh, I think I guess you should be on the same <laughs> on the same corridor. <laughs> yeah, we'll say. Oh, I see. Over there. Ah. Oh, I'm excited as a player, but not a sport. <laughs> okay, so uh, initiative from everyone except for. I got a 15. Oh my god, everyone rolls so bad <laughs> except the V. I rolled the worst. Yeah. David, you're first. It is. It now seems that this wall is actually a creature in the form of a cube. It is coming towards you, and it it looks like it is dangerous. What do you do? I'm gonna cast thunder wave to try and push it away from us. So a constitution save. Good. Fifteen to save. That passes. Huh. My name's no longer on my thing. Yeah, so it only takes four and isn't pushed away. Okay. Now it is the cube's turn, and it just walks forward. Uh, yeah, it can hold up to four medium or, or smaller creatures. Item. So, uh, it will use engulf. The cube mo moves up to 50 feet and will end its turn in this square. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, so, um, Thor and Milo needs to make dexterity save. Oh my. Three. B and A. Oh, Both oh, of you yeah. failed your save. Uh, yeah. You don't succeed, so... You failed. The cube enters the creature's space, and the creature takes 3d6 acid and is engulfed. So 3d6 to each one of you. 13 damage. 13? Oh, oh, okay. Well, I have two, I have two points left. Oh my god, so yeah, uh, you cannot, uh, both of you cannot breathe, you are restrained, and you will take 6 the 6 as damage at the start of each of the cube's turn. When the cube moves, the engulfed creature moves with it. The engulfed creature can try to escape by taking an action, da 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 da, -da. okay. So, now it's uh, Jasper's turn. Alright, well, I'm gonna back the heck up by... And guiding bolt. Uh, we'll do guiding bolt at uh, level two. Um, don't miss. Fifteen to hit. Uh, let me see. Fifteen does hit. Awesome damage. 23, uh, 23 radiant damage. Yeah, 5 to 6. Total. 
and the next person that attacks it gets a uh, advantage. So oh, Milo and Four, both of you are restrained. I think you can still uh, act on your turn. Let me just double check the restraint condition. Uh, yeah, you, it is restrained. Yeah, you cannot move, but uh, you can attack at disadvantage, and attacks against you have advantage. Uh, but you can also use your actions to try to escape the uh, the, the cube. It's yeah, I want to use I want to use my action to try to escape. Yeah, you you can make a, a strength check. Uh, the DC is twelve. Oh my gosh. Milo, you didn't. Milo. Nope. <laughs> I'm going to use my bonus action to uh, put a blood curse of binding on him. Oh, so it's it's speed is zero. Uh, yeah, well, he gets to make a. Uh, I think it's a saving through uh, strength. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, he, he makes a strength saving throw. 21. Anything else? I'm sure yeah, I'm you're sure speed one past that. Yeah. That's all. Four. Yeah. Okay. I am going to make a strength saving throw. Come on. Uh, okay, I'm gonna use, uh, can I use healing word on myself? In yeah, here? It is, yeah, it is a bonus action, so you can. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm gonna do that. It's, <laughs> uh, 1d4 word plug. Uh, da -da. More, uh, so I gained 5 hit points. Okay. Hopefully, I don't die. Uh, you probably will. Yeah, try not to die. David. <laughs> also, uh, oh. yeah. David, it's your turn. Can I move over here and use my action to try and pull four out of the cube? Yeah, you can. Uh, there is rules for that as well. Uh, a creature within 5 feet of the cube can take an action to pull a creature or object out of the cube. Doing so requires successful DC-12 strength check, and the creature making the attempt takes 3d6 as the damage. Even though you, you will take damage, you want to try it? Yes. Okay, so make your strength check. Just oh, what is needed. Oh. And then, as my bonus action, can I give Milo a bardic inspiration to try and help him get out? Yeah. You can, and you take 10 damage uh, as you try to take him out of the, the cube. Uh, okay. Uh, can, I, uh, can I put my hand on his shoulder and say thank you? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> okay, now is the cube. Milo, you are still inside of it. So at the start of its turn, you take 6d6 acid. What? I can. Uh, technically speaking, I can roll all ones and you will only take 6 damage. There's still a chance. But instead I roll 22. <laughs> Not a single one. Are you still up? I Are you still up? Milo, are you with us? Milo, are you with us? We can hear you. 
Hold on, hold on. I got this. I got this. Can, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm down, but I'm not insta killed. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, I thought that was the... Uh, David, you will be hit by his cell doppel. Yeah, I took a 6 out of the event. I think a 6 to hit doesn't hit. Uh, it does not. So it's, uh, uh, uh it's Jasper once again. Uh, okay. Um. I will transform into my starry form of Chalice. Which is bonus action. And then uh, for my action, I will throw a level one guiding bolt. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Spell, spell, spell. Ah. Oof. Is it ten hit? Yeah, he hit. Right. It is. Right. Damn. His AC is six. Twenty-three oh. force damage. Or yeah. not, not radiant. radiant. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. That was awesome. Oh, yeah, and then, and then bonus uh, So Milo, uh, you are down to zero, so you need to roll your first life saving. Don't die! I got the heals coming. Give me just a moment, guys. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Dead! Fuck! Milo uh, was burning from the insides of that huge creature, ooze creature, and all of a sudden, after he passed, to, uh, he fainted. He just opens his eyes once again. Uh, you, you still can use your turn, uh, Milo. Okay, I'm gonna try again to get out. Yeah, now you're saved. You can choose a square five feet uh, of the creature. Okay. Now it's forced. Now it's forced. Do, do I think poison needle would work? Uh, I guess you can try. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'll try. It's a cantrip. It's not like the end of the world. Uh, okay, just the data collection. Uh, 14. Uh, you hit. Oh, so that's a D. Five. Somehow the creature takes poison damage. Uh, and then as my bonus action, I'm going to heal my load <laughs> with my healing wound. Uh, so we four. Three. So six. Thank you. Anytime. Uh, uh, are you going to move or are you going to stay there? Yeah, I'm gonna move. Uh, I'm gonna move. Yes, uh, so I have thirty feet. 
Milo is at seven hit points. Okay, I'm just going to move over here and cast Cure Wounds on Milo. D8 plus four. Now you're at 17. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And nothing else I can do. So that's it for me. Uh, now it's the cubes. He will go for an engulf. Again. So he moves up to his speed, punch, and he'll try to engulf both Milo and the and David. So this he twelve dexterity save. Oh my god! Man, I am rolling so bad tonight. Thirteen. Oh, wait. Thirty twenty. Thirty twenty. Okay, so um, okay, so, uh, you can choose to be pushed five feet back, or to the side. Uh, I'll be pushed turn. five feet back. But Milo, you have no choice. You are engulfed, and you take four damage. Hey, there we go. Jasper. Uh, okay. Uh, as a bonus action, I'm going to cast Healing Words on Milo. Mm. Also, you get the advantage from your own Guiding Bolt if, or any other spell because no, you haven't used that. It, it goes away at the beginning, beginning of my turn, so I can't use it on my, for myself. But okay. anyway, so it's four healing from that, and then I'll use my form to heal Milo another D8 plus three. Where is that? And f as your action? Okay. So it's another eight. Okay. And then my action will be a guiding bolt again. Yeah, uh, I, I just remember. You I, cannot use uh, two uh, spells on the same uh, turn. You need to spell use one spell and one country. You are correct. You are correct. Uh, in that case, we'll go magic stone. And an eight probably misses. Eight actually hits. Well, it's a a huge cube the, the size of the, a corridor. Fair enough. Uh, eight one. Eight bludgeoning. And that's the, that's it for me. Milo. You have a chance to try to escape it if you don't want to take that 66 to your face. Yeah, uh, it's strength saving throw again, right? Or was it just a strength check? Check. <laughs> My god! You, you do still have that part. But I don't think it would help. I have what? I have what? You have I have what? Oh yeah, that still wouldn't get me 
Yeah. Man, I wish I had remembered that. I had that a while ago. But, um, yeah, it's still not enough to get me out of this. Four. Two. Four. Oh, he don't. Uh, gonna go ahead. Go here. Go here. Uh, I'm gonna do a strength saving, uh, strength back to try and get him out. Uh, so let me do that. Uh, the fuck? three. It's a hot three. Yeah, you managed. You you tried to take him out, so you take the the three D C. Oh, my, I I, I uh, swear I love this creature. If I could, I I'm would down. put in every single. You're down. Yeah, I'm down. I forgot that I had seven hit points. <laughs> I'm down. Yeah. As four puts his arms inside of the cube, he holds the hand of uh, of Milo, and Milo, as he was making strength to take you out, you feel his his arm suddenly getting weak, and as he as four falls to his back. That sucks. David, it is you. So I am going to move over here. Healing word Milo. My bonus action. So. You get five back. No, I'm actually at full hit points right now. Yeah, uh, I, I have. If, did, uh, did I say Milo or four? Yeah, uh, I think you have meant yeah, four. Four, 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 is, four is the one that's I, down. Yeah, yeah four is down. In fact, mean four. All right, cool. I got five hit points. <laughs> and then I will make a will strength make check to and pull, my, pull Milo out. Milo out. Okay, you take the 3d6 as well. Do, do I take that before I... Yeah, you take 10 damage as you try to pull him out. But you can roll your, your strength check. And I'm down. <laughs> Healer's down, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I got it, I got it. This is one tough, it. tough encounter. As the turn of the... of the cube comes of along, you will make his acid burn, acid burn on Milo. 22 on damage, Milo. Milo. Okay. okay. Thank you. <laughs> You move one, two, uh, you are moving with him, and he will slap at Casper's face with his cell dub. <gasps> Ooh, I created! it! No! 19 damage to Jasper. How much? 19. 19, alright. Yeah, it, it surely smells like TPK now. <laughs> Jasper, it is you. Uh, David is down, and Milo, you are up. Yeah, I'm still up, but I'm still engulfed. Yeah, okay. That's the situation. Yeah, so Jasper, if you could kill this guy this turn, that'd be great. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Well, I can run faster than it, which is not something you can say about most things. Uh, and I will Guiding Bolt. Yeah, you hit. Me too. Hit. Big number. Four. 
game, unfortunately. Not lost in the sound. Another fortune you're in yet? Yeah, it is still it is alive. Still alive. Milo, if I may. Milo, uh, I may uh, 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 sorry, Jasper, it's still uh, your turn. Sorry, you want to do anything else? Anything else? Uh, Wait, uh, bonus action. Cannot cast any spell, cannot spell cast save cantrips. Right. Well, I'm just seeing if they need a bonus action. They're not. So, uh, nope. Milo, okay. if I can give oh. you an advice, you now have advantage to attack the creature, so you at so advantage and disadvantage negate itself, and you roll at normal. Its AC is six, and it it's already taken a lot of damage. So, and you surely is, are not lucky with your strength checks. Yeah, that's that's the uh, understatement of the year. <laughs> Holy smite it. Hang on just a second. Oh, we also have the uh, inspiration. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shoot it with my bow. Hey, you hit? Go for damage. Go for damage. And damage. And damage. Milo. As the the one that the creature aimed at the most. You are you now have acid burns all over your skin. Of how much you endure. You you went from zero HP to full HP and then almost to zero. In the same combat. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. But poetic as it may sound, you are the one to deliver the final blow to the creature. As you've managed to aim your bow at what it seems to be the core at the center of that huge cube, it all just melts down, almost like turning to a sort of acidic water and uh, mixing with the sewage water. As you fall down to the ground, poof, you fall to the floor. But you are now free from the grasp of that thing. Combat is over. What do you do now, guys? Can I? Can I? I got softly crying. Unconscious. Yeah. Oh, you're. Can I? Mm, hold on. Let me see. You can use healing word on unconscious people. Yeah. 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 Who who needs okay. healing? Can I do it? Can, yeah. can I do it, guys? Or no, you're unconscious. That would. Yeah, yeah I'll use healing word. I'll use healing word. Uh, I'll, I'll just go uh, turn around, start playing. And then uh, hold on. Da -da. 1d4 points. Damn! 7 hit points. Thank you. Because I, I rolled a 4 on a d4. And then, uh, I'm, I'm gonna move over to 4 and just kind of comfort him a little bit. Alright, uh, Milo. I mean, Was anything that was carried within the cube of any value? Uh, yeah, you've, you don't see anything uh, worth scraping, but as a as both of you that understand alchemy, maybe you could get something out from the fluids of the. Okay, yeah, I'll try to get, collect a couple of files of that. Make a uh, let me see. It is a use. I think it's Arcana check. Yeah. Uh, whoever has the higher Arcana can roll. I have five Arcana. Yeah, you get to roll. That's <laughs> Woody. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
my god! Perfect. So, as for loot, uh, you can roll a d6 4. Uh, uh, this, uh, yeah. Uh, you know what? Since you 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 took a natural twenty, I will let you have the the max dice for the loot. So instead of that, you you have six vials of ooze goop as an action. You can throw this vial at a creature within 20 feet of you, treating the vial as in an improvised weapon. On a hit, the vial shatters and covers the creature with black goop. For the next minute, the creature takes 1d8 acid damage at the start of each of its turns. The creature can use an action to scrape the goop off, ending the effect early. That's pretty good. Uh, can, you, can you write that down? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a good anime. I will give you a sec. Appreciate it. Yeah, uh, the combat ends. If you want to do anything outside of combat now. Okay, I think we need to secure us a place down here and uh, rest. And plus, that'll give us to give it time for it to get dark upstairs anyway. Uh, but we could take like a long rest while we're waiting for. Uh, the proper time to go in and deal with that guy. Yeah, I, I like that idea. Like that he idea. really needs a map. Yeah, I'm old. So we try to find a, a place to take a nap. <laughs> yeah, like I, I the, just directly down from us. There's all those like uh, barrels and stuff. Yeah. Can we like stack those up into like a defensible formation, make it less likely we'll be seen. Uh, we can all see in the dark, I believe, so we wouldn't need any kind of a light source. Uh, I can't, but if all of you can, we should be fine. Does Jane really not have dark room? I don't think they do. Does it sound like a nighttime creature? That's true. Let me, Let me see. Now I'm not seeing anything. All right. Weird. Hi, right, cool. Okay. Well, three of us have. Uh, yeah, you can. You can. Since you take your times to to build a, a fort out of crates and and other uh, objects that you find lying around, you manage to make a a safe spot for you to rest. Uh, so you force yourselves on, on another long rest, and you will not be able to take another long rest for I think it's 24 hours from now. So have keep that in mind. Okay. okay. But let's just say uh, uh, that you are well rested for we to continue next week then. That's fine for you? Works for me. That's right. for me. I think it's the, the time that we are going to prepare for the start of the next week tomorrow. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the game. Yes, thank yeah. you. Yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, thank you very much. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, I hope you guys liked. I had a blast as always. This game. Uh, let's see if Killian answers and shows up next week because this party surely is missing its paladin. Miss <laughs> so much. Yep. Um. There you go, real quick. Uh, what I what about my character? I if you have, like, a high uh, put it. That'd be cool. Uh, sorry, can you repeat that? Uh, I want to talk to you about my character, uh, if you have time, whenever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, just like that. Uh, yeah, I think tomorrow 
uh, on the afternoon will be uh, completely, completely available. <laughs> All right, cool. I right,